Drummers Against Imply Timekeeping, I'm going to play some cut time variations uh, in four and in six. I'll play a little bit and then uh, fool around with it. This is the four. You just have to get the basic rhythm, and then whatever you have on your drum set, start to move your hand and hit it. But don't get ahead of yourself. The basic rhythm first. Just work on that rhythm. You have all that space. Now the six uh, is just a variation on that. Work on the pattern, get used to the pattern with your left hand playing the time, and then move your hand. You know, I thought to do this video because when I first started my channel, I did it, one of the very first videos, and I just felt this would be an updated version of it. I think it's much more uh, easy to understand. So hopefully you like it. It is a great video because you can apply it to anything slow you're playing, and you can articulate it without finding ghost notes and various things. You can have an option now. But you have to learn to just get your left hand as a timekeeper. And that left hand can move over to the bell or whatever percussion you have on your left side as, as well. So just get the basic idea of both four and six. And then just move your hand, just as the way you see me here. I'm sure you'll come up with great and creative ideas. And the power is just enormously different. You know, you gain so much strength on your left side that your overall sound will improve right away. So play it the way I'm showing it to you. And don't embellish on it, just get into the basic groove. Now, if you have questions, I'm, I welcome them on twitter.com forward slash drummers against, facebook.com forward slash drummers against implied timekeeping. Uh, those of you coming in for the first time, welcome to my channel. I invite you to go through everything that I have to understand what I'm trying to teach. And of course, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel because your subscription is the support that I need to continue. And it allows me to come up with new ideas and I think that's the issue for me is to get you to think in more of a creative way and increasing your power by playing in an open-handed position. And those of you who are uh, staying with me, it inspires me and thanks a lot. I appreciate that support all the time. Your comments and questions are always welcome. Okay, so thanks for looking in. Uh, this is a cut time variations in four and in six. So I want you to experiment with this and let me know how you like it. All right? My best to all of you. I look forward to hearing from you. Take care.